Well, we're going to start off with the eye makeup remover pads, and these are little, these are 100% cotton, and if you feel of it, uh, it feels real furry, it's real soft, and basically you, you, I will, you know, turn it like kind of a half moon, and I'm going to, now you don't have on very much makeup, do you? Okay, that's good, that's fine, but we're just going to place this on your eyelid, and it just literally takes off anything that, that would be on there. Uh, and, and as you can see, it's not coming off on your eyes, but like as much eye makeup as I wear, <laughs> I get a good deal on it though. <laughs> but you, you know, I would just place it on my eyelashes and then kind of jiggle it and then I would turn it so it's clean on the other side and continue and then you can turn it inside out you know, and have those four sides. Okay. So you can usually use one for both eyes unless you wear more eye makeup like me, and then you need two probably. So the next thing we're going to do is cleansing lotion. And this is going to break up any natural oils in your skin and remove your makeup. And we want to take just a little bit in your hand like this. Anytime you're using an emollient or cream or whatever, you don't want to just go like that onto the face. You want to take these two fingers here, and we're going to kind of melt this down and we're going to start right here in the in this chin area. <clears throat> like we're putting on a beard. <laughs> so you want <clears throat> you would not go like all over the skin like sometimes we tend to do. Mm -hmm. You want to just take your fingers and you want to do this little circles. Now, as long as you have a cream or a moya on your skin, this is fine to press. Mm -hmm. It's fine for the manipulation. Mm -hmm. It's when you have a, a washcloth that's dry and you have that friction, mm -hmm. you don't want to rub. So the little circles are good because it can really go in and break up any oils better, rather than just going all over. And see me in my bathroom apparently. <laughs> well, I, I see a lot of women do a lot of things. We've hey, been at it a long time. And then you want to come on up here, and this area would be where your blush would be, uh, you know, and that's probably going to be a little bit more color than would be up here. So that's another reason to take it in a segment like this. And then, you know, not not moving the makeup up here, so we're just going in little circles like this. If you were if you were giving yourself a professional facial mm -hmm. with no charge, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you would pretty much go in this direction. So you basically start here. Then you would, you know, clean off your hands so you're not moving everything around. And then right here. And then right here. So you don't have to necessarily rub it in. I mean, it doesn't go away. It's just that we're loosening. And then always remember that a neck, the neck is part of your face. It needs the same tender, loving care. And this is the area that really can show age. You know, our eye areas go first, then this area, the decollete, the hands. Um, so a lot of times women will just take off the makeup here and not think about the neck area. You don't really put makeup down there. I'll show you some more wonderful tricks there, but you still need to make sure that it's cleansed because if you're putting moisture into the skin, which we're going to do, uh, and you have any buildup of dead skin, you're going to get that around here, and you'll you'll feel it come off. Like if it has a lot of moisture, it's almost like not peels off, but it, you, you know you do get that mm -hmm. along here and on the phone. You know how mm -hmm. on the phone and and, and our hands. So hormonally, I tend to break out. Uh -huh. Right, exactly. That's your. That's the area that usually hormones will uh, really, you know, be a, a problem and stress. And, the, and stress. <laughs> oh, we don't have stress. No, 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 no. Not what we're doing. Make it anyway. Right. <laughs> and here's a, a neat little tip. Like normally, women will do this. You know, do their and they go like this. Mm -hmm. And this will break a habit of taking the washcloth like this in in the corner. And if you just this is the hardest thing I've learned today. <laughs> but you take the washcloth, you take your hand like by your elbow and just go forward like this and twist it and turn. And that gives you a flat surface so that you're not going to rub as hard. You'll, you'll more or less want to pat. And then notice it's cool. So the makeup comes off immediately. And you didn't even look like you had any on. <laughs> but, surprise! Surprise! <laughs> But it comes off so easily, and I didn't even rub hardly. I just had it. The next thing we're going to do is cool the skin down. And this is fresher. And what you want to do is use 100% cotton. Um, and, you know, these, 
what we use are these little like cotton clouds and they separate so if you use the kind that are uh, padded you know mm -hmm. or are uh, waffled or whatever you can't really separate them mm -hmm. and you lose you use less freshener you, mm -hmm. you know that with, with this type that you can get a thinner uh, width okay so it wastes your product if you use some of that and always use 100 percent cotton the cotton cosmetic balls that come in packages, you know, the plastic, read on the ingredients because normally it will say nylon or rayon and it's not cotton. Okay. It will say cosmetic puffs, but not cotton. So cotton, that nylon and rayon can really scratch your skin. So that's another friction. So 100% cotton is important. And then you just hold it like this, just grab it like that. Again, that gives you that smooth surface that you won't be rubbing because if it was in a little ball like this, mm -hmm. what do we do? Rub it and then it drips, you know, and we're not getting, we can't, we're not really removing it evenly. Now, you'll start feeling kind of a tingle mm -hmm. and it feels real, you know, starts to feel really cool. You want to go all over and right in here is very important as well. We forget some time about the nose area and then we're going to go up on the neck area and see we're still getting makeup off and you don't want to think that you have to get all your makeup off with the cleansing lotion that's remember a remover it breaks up oil now we're getting more of the rest of your residue off and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to press it into the skin on the other side and this is going to help once we've got the oil, the rest of the oil off mm -hmm. with the freshener the first time, then we're going to go back and press this moisture into the skin. And that's going to help bubble up the skin so that when we use the exfoliant, it'll come off the place. The next step, which is step, the exfoliant, which is like exfoliant I said earlier, like I said earlier, is the extra step that we do that most people don't. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is the key step. Are you just you can't normalize that skin? Just once a day or twice a day? Every, every day, once a day, like at night. Your skin really repairs a lot at night, and you know I I prefer uh, having the women do this at night. Like we, in fact, everything that we do is in a step. It'll have step one, step two, a.m. or p.m. Okay. But you want it to. You want to really get those pores clean. You want to get the dead skin off so that moisture stays in all night. You know you've got you've got that. Um, rejuvenation time that we need and then in the morning you will still do your moisture but not your scrub. So your scrub is only you know at night and, and it, you don't have to leave it on you just literally put it on and rinse it right off. Next we're going to do a mask and I'm you know you've heard of mud baths and bentonite. Bentonite is a mud from the sea and that's what usually they use in mud baths because it draws toxins and uh, impurities out of the skin I know uh, I grew up on a ranch and my dad always used uh, bentonite in case the animals or the livestock were bitten by a snake hmm. um, because you know it, it, will, it will not hurt the, the wound, it will just go in and pull out impurities. Hmm. So bentonite is used on farms and ranches and it's used in spas now, I mean hmm. after many years it's been used thousands of years too hmm. as cleansing. So, but you can't cleanse out the pore if you don't get the dead skin off. So that's why we do the exfoliation. And then once a week, you do the mint pack. Mm -hmm. And the mint pack really cools the skin down. You'll love the way this feels. The first time you use this, you may be a little bit lighter because mainly the, the first application is taking out stains and oxides mm -hmm. that may be in your skin from makeup, which we all get, you mm -hmm. know, just from makeup. But um, and then the next time you see uh, you're starting to clean out your pores, but you don't start breaking out with this. Mm -hmm. And I always like to take, um, like this is a great test to see if your products are working. And I should have done it here, but let's say just take your finger very lightly and just very lightly go across the skin like you're tickling it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can see the little pores. Mm -hmm. So, and that's really good to do like in the T-zone area or an area that you're real frustrated with. Mm -hmm. And then and then do that little test in that same spot every week. Mm -hmm. Learn how to kind of, the same amount of pressure, you know, and you start seeing those pores get smaller because you don't have that oil coming up. Mm -hmm. Or if you're dry, it starts to minimize because the water is in there mm -hmm. and it helps to shrink. So 
the mask is very important because that's what's going to clean your pores out deeper so that more moisture will go in deeper. Think of that waffle. We want to get it all the way down to the bottom of what your skin can absorb. Now the moisture lotion is very different than probably a feel of a moisture lotion and, I, and it has to have the viscosity, which viscosity is like the thin, the thickness of a moisture lotion. You know many times you'll put a moisture lotion on and it's just real thin and you know you like a light moisture, you know in theory you want something light mm -hmm. but if it feels thick you think it's going to feel thick on, mm -hmm. but this is designed with the viscosity so that it will gradually go into the skin and not evaporate before your skin can be allowed to absorb everything. So if, if, if a moisture lotion is too thin, mm -hmm. it, it just, it, 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 can't, it won't work as well as one that has the viscosity of this, and this feels like almost silk. I mean, it just, you know, it's like a really creamy but not oily. Um, texture. Now we're going to take the night cream mm -hmm. and it doesn't take much, just a tiny bit. And what you want to do is take, put it on these fingers and just melt it down. You don't want to just go right on. I mean, you're, you're, you really will get more usage out of, out of it. And you want just a veil mm -hmm. over the skin. So we're just going to go over and just lightly, you can see what I'm very lightly applying just enough so that we're putting that lid on that jar and we're not like, and it won't make your eyes puffy, you know, mm -hmm. in, in the morning. Um, it's just going to lock in that moisture and then feels really great. Very, light, very, very light. Again, if, you know, if someone has oily skin, they have to use the night cream mm -hmm. because many times they think, I can't use oil, mm -hmm. but you have to have the oil to lock in your moisture. You just pat it here and right over the eye area like this. If you're concerned about, like I don't have Botox, I mean you can tell too, but I don't have the lines in there, you know. And um, it's I've, I've used the eye cream quite a bit. I'll, I'll usually go in this whole area for my eye cream. And then you can use it on your lips. Great around the lip area. What we've gone through is cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize, and lock. And you just don't get out of order.